Thank you very much. Uh, thanks to the selection panel for this honor. Uh, first, let me congratulate the other recipients, uh, something that's very well deserved. And I will tell you that I was quite relieved when I saw who the other recipients were going to be. I was concerned for a minute that this was only an award for old people. <laughs> And please pardon my laryngitis, but I'll tell you a little about that. I, I got up with some laryngitis this morning. It's, as Amy said, it's been my pleasure to be with the Medical Center for almost 35 years. And during that time, I've been very blessed to be surrounded by a great, great group of people. All of them committed to helping others. And as you can imagine, we've seen giant strides in 40 years in healthcare, uh, including technological advances, uh, development of modern facilities, and certainly uh, many new treatment modalities, just to name a few. One of the rewards in healthcare is being able to help others, as opposed to going shopping or buying an automobile. When folks come to our place, they're not there at the best time of their life unless they're there for a normal birth. And therefore, it's essential that we remember this and help to allay their fears and concerns. So we're not only in the business of helping folks to regain their health and well-being, we're in the business of comforting. Another of the rewards that we have experienced is being able to identify individuals in our organization who have a skill set uh, that is more appropriate at a higher level in the organization. And so for these many years, we've been able to identify a number of folks in the organization and help them move up to, to another level uh, of, in the organization. Is Janelle Cecil here? I, I didn't see Janelle. Uh, last year, my colleague and great friend Janelle Cecil received one of these Healthcare Hero Awards. And during her remarks, she thanked almost everyone in the room. But she neglected to thank her husband, Bill, who was in the audience. And I don't believe he's here today, but let me take this opportunity to publicly thank Bill Cecil for all he's done for Janelle. Now, a little bit about the laryngitis. My good friend George Dobler is also receiving a Healthcare Hero Award today, most richly deserved. And for those of us who know and love George and have for 30 years, when we ask George to say a prayer at the medical center, he usually speaks for five to seven minutes and then says a 25 second prayer. So I could just imagine that George talked to the folks upstairs and said, you know, if Norman gets up with laryngitis, he'll speak less and I'll have more time. So. <laughs> I hesitate to thank individuals by name because we're certainly going to omit some of those that we should mention, but thanks to members of our board of directors, extremely supportive, uh, to our CEO, Joe Landsman, and for his leadership and support, and to my senior management colleagues who help me every day of the, of the week and every day of the year. And certainly, uh, our team members at the Medical Center and my immediate staff, Debbie, Betty, Jeff, Rhonda, Harry, and Sharon. And we talked about family. We have my work family and my immediate family uh, at the same table. Certainly, I don't want to be guilty of the foo-paw that Janelle did last year. For lo, these many years, my wonderful wife, Pat, has always been very supportive of our career in healthcare and the long hours we spend at work. And notice, Joe, I said long hours, okay. <laughs> Others who have been very important as we've traveled this road are our daughter Dawn, our grandson Reed who now towers over me, our granddaughter who is 10 and is, a, is a, uh, uh, almost a totally accomplished rock climber, and uh, our friend Michael. So thanks to them and thanks to all of you.